good afternoon. It's me, Marites Maldama. And today it's April 7, 2020, and we are here in Dipolog City, uh, the capital city of Zamboanga del Norte. And for three weeks already that we did not go out uh, outside, we are staying at home. So together with my husband here, Elio Madama, I decided to make this episode for my Fits and Travel by Chess YouTube channel. So I have, I prepare here for eight questions for my husband and it's quite special because uh, it's something that uh, for me as a wife, I already know this and I learned that every day being with him together. And I want you also guys to have a quite a fast look so that you can also, uh, maybe you can get a, a learnings from, from this uh, interview. Uh, okay, so how are you? Oh, very fine. Muy bien. Gracias. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm doing great. I'm doing fine. And you are nervous? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, I'm <laughs> okay. Un poquito. Yes. And um, uh, how you feel uh, for 16, uh, for 15 years? Yes, we are going to 16, but uh, we've been married for 15 and counting to 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> uh, how are you feeling for 15 years together? Being married with me, of course. Uh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> a very nice, happy life. Muy bien. Yeah. Una vida muy feliz. Yeah, very nice. A tu lado. Oh, thank you. Muchísimas gracias. He, uh, he said a very nice life uh, being uh, next to me. Yeah, of course, very nice. Okay, very thank nice. you, thank you. And, honey, what makes you decided to, decided to live here? Okay, you say, okay, this is it. I wanted to live in the Philippines for good. What makes you decide? You. <laughs> Tú. Oh, yeah? Simplemente por ti. Simple question, simple answer. You. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, but uh, there must be, you know, it, it, it takes you uh, time to think, to plan and everything in your life. No, if I mean it. No, I'm serious. I mean, I'm serious too. I'm serious too. After I met you, it took me only five minutes to decide that I want to be with you the rest of my life. Okay, I, I know that you are um, a, be, a very positive man. That's, uh, that's what I learned from you. I remember this one thing that uh, when we just, uh, I think one month been together, that I have this temper when you start to walk in the city that I always, I, I, I lose my temper. You know, I go to the street and fight with those people who laugh with us because of our, the, with our age difference. Yeah, that's true. Yes, and I lose yeah. my temper yeah. and I fight with them, but you are always there. From, from day one, you teach me, uh, you taught me how to uh, have, page, have this uh, points of the way I look the life, you know. You teach me how, you taught me rather, how to, to see things. And thank you, I am thankful of that. So, uh, what positive things that you learn in life? Out of, you know, you've been travel many places, you live well, but one thing that you learn, positive things in your life. No, only one. Everything in my life been positive. I don't care about negative things. Negative things, I fight with those things and I change it for the good one. Because it's nothing, nothing, nothing negative in this life unless you want to put in your mind something like that. But you can change it. It's, it's just a matter of how you uh, accept the thing. Oh, of course, yes, yes, okay, yes, okay. yes. Yeah, it's like uh, you are the driver of your own, you know, car. You are driving. So is it you select the life that to be a negative, or you instead try to go with a stra straight path and turn that into positive? Of course, okay. because everything is in your heart and your mind. It's true. It's if you true. control your heart and your mind, you will have no problems. You kill all those negative things in your life and you change it for positive things. So, uh, all my life was it. like that. And until now, I'm 77 years old, I'm still happy. Mm -hmm. And I hope I can live a few more years and be 
next uh, to my wife, obviously. obviously. <laughs> and and you consider the, as what you said earlier, uh, negative things. You consider that as as like a, the lesson in your life. Do you consider do you consider negative life or negative experience in your life as as a steps to keep more to to be strong? Uh, negative, you consider that as a. Um, when you say about negative things, I don't know if you're talking about people, because people yes, are very yes, negative. Yes, people. So, people. That, but that's very simple. Yeah. Those who are negative, you just eliminate from your life. You see that You guys? don't talk to them no more. That's it. You don't need people that come to you or they consider your friends, but they all have a negative things all, all their life, or whatever you come in a positive thing, they find the negative one. Those people, out of your life, and then that's it. Okay, thank you, thank you for that, for sharing your thoughts, for, for sharing the way, the way, how you handle your life to keep moving. Uh, because I know this, uh, I noticed that uh, as 15 years together, the way you handle life, the way you just focus to be, to have the plan for a better future, to be the best version of yourself than yesterday. So that's what I learned from you, that yes, you cannot avoid that there is these things negative. Whatever you go, there is always like that. What, whatever, uh, whatever country you are, there's always like that. You always experience that. But the way you, in, the way you, you accept it and the way you handle it, I admire it very much. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. Muchas gracias, señora. <laughs> señora um, madame. And Muchas gracias. this one, this question, <laughs> this question, <laughs> yes, this question that I prepare uh, for you is a little, I know this, all people in this world experience this, and I know that they are excited to hear this from you. Do you believe in love? Do you believe in love? Of course I believe in love. <laughs> but that's why I'm here with you, honey, for almost, no, not almost, more than 15 years. Already. Yes, yes. And, but, uh, what is really love for you? Is something that is, what is really... I don't know, it's something that is in your heart and your mind, and uh, you, feel, you really feel it when you are next to the person that you really like it, and you, and you love. I... <laughs> yes, <okay. laughs> It's true. Yes. It's true. Um, I never get tired a bit with my wife. Never, never. 24 hours, seven days a week we are here together and it's... Okay, it's thank, a, thank you. Fantastic. Just thank me. you, thank you for that. Mucho, and, mucho. and a lot of people, I know a lot of people that they are having problem about love because they try to... Uh, have, uh, they are having problem of following their hearts and their brain. If you are in love, are you following your hearts? Or, or your heads, or your brain? It's a combination. Combination, guys. It's a combination because one thing don't work without the other. The heart with the mind, work with the mind, and the mind work with the heart. Simple, it's simple, it's no mystery about But this. what is most important to follow? Your brain or your heart? No, because both are, it's only one. Really? Uh, really, it's one, it's a combination of two, but it becomes only one. Wow, that's... Sometimes that is, you feel your heart, but fast, 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 or you feel your brain telling you something, and, uh, and that's it. You can, you learn, you have to learn how to follow your heart and your brain. Yes, that's with all my life, with, you know, you know, honey, with all my uh, life for 33, uh, living in this world, I believe for myself that heart first. But I think now, this afternoon, April 7, I learned something new. I think you are right that it's something, the heart and the brain it become one. There are two things, two parts in our body, but at the end when it comes to love, it become one. Common sense. Yes, it's something new. I call it common sense. It's something new because you feel this thing that you are in love with a person and then your brain, your brain also we work, work all together. They are both. Uh, helping and, 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 and think and yes, working the same true. time. Yes, it's true, guys. It's true. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. For that, I learned yeah, something new. You're welcome. And 
what is your I am not already number seven uh, for out of eight questions that I prefer I prepare for you for number seven questions what is your principles in life principio work hard enjoy your life enjoy your family go on vacation save money and buy real estate Wow. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That is fast, simple, but full of... Uh, it's really... I mean, when you listen to these words, it's something that goes to your uh, brain and then goes to your heart. And it's something that uh, people need to focus. Because usually people work hard and spend hard. Yes, that's true. <laughs> you know? That's, it doesn't matter how much salary you earn per month, but man, they are also spending so fast that even before 15 days or 10 days, it's already almost gone. It doesn't matter how much you make it. What matter is what, how much you save every month. Because these people because here, the foreigners living in Philippines, most of us are already retired. Mm -hmm. So we live in our pension. There are people that they have three, four, five, six, or more times more pension than me. At the end of the month, they finish with nothing. But if you are wise, and you know, you make plans, you can have you a wonderful good. life. You live good. Be good, take a vacation, Please your family, your wife, and still got money to invest and buy something for the future of your wife. Because don't forget, usually it's a gap, very gap, a very dif different age. Age is very different. Yes, like ours, case, like, like ours, like ours, right? So if you are a good man, a good husband, and you really worry about your wife, give her a good future. Buy a house, buy a car, get money in the bank for her. So the day you are gone, so she will have a good future. That's it. Simple. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. For very that. simple. That's a very nice words, honey. And I think my last questions was already, you already shared to them. My last question will be a uh, message. Uh, it's not really a question, guys. It's something, your message to your loved ones or to the people out there that uh, maybe needs um, a, a little push in their life. Well, I just told you with my last uh, yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's why they told you. answer already. Yes. Sorry, I advanced uh, you know, <laughs> the answer, but yes, uh, yes. I already gave it to you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, thank you very much uh, for your time, honey, and thank you, you very welcome. much for for sharing this, not only to me, but only also to the people and also for my channel. I know that uh, for with open hearts, without a doubt, without even second second uh, think of your mind, you um, say yes to this episode, to this interview. Of thank course. you very much. Thank you very much. So, bye guys, bye. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for listening, for watching this video. Please. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. It's Fit and Travel by Tess. And for more videos, just click the subscribe, guys. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Muchísimas gracias. Be 